this stuff's got some good flow. Now it's turning into the adventure of, will we run out of gas? This video is brought to you by Calor Graphics, Trail Tech, and Public Land Riders. Let's go shred some tires. All right, we got our first little wake up in the morning. And I accidentally grab a little too much front brake here. Woo! That was just stupid. Fuck, it feels like you're going vertical, eh? Yeah, man. Look at this. Another beauty viewpoint out here. Look at this salt lake or something. Like all the, the chemical white coming up. Beauty little viewpoint. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out for another, whoa! Another day of ripping. Brand new park once again. Never been here. We're just out ripping around. We're actually on our way. Riding to another park right now. We're in one riding park and you can ride right over to the other. So we're just making our way over there. We'll see what kind of mischief we get up into over there. This is like Chukwim, Chukwim Park or something we're in. It's got a weird name. Welcome back everybody for the last episode in our installment of our enduro camping trip that we are currently on. For those of you that don't know, we've gone on a trip to the interior of BC and we got uh, me, my dad and my buddy Luke. We're out on this epic trip where we're uh, just trying to dirt bike Woo! and a whole bunch of new spots. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Now, I'm sure you guys have been able to tell uh, throughout the last couple of videos that have been coming out that we're getting a lot more comfortable here on this Beta Cross Trainer. Keep in mind, this is still my first week here riding it and we're just feeling right at home on this machine. Now, this one's like mountain bike style. I guess there is a, there's a mountain bike park right next to us too, so I guess they got some inspiration from them. Yeah. Oh man, those are the tiniest little cute black bears. Well, that was pretty cool. Really got to see that. I've never seen such small, tiny little cubs. Then we came across and found ourselves quite a juicy little trail that we had no idea it was a double orange diamond trail. Now when it comes to these little bit more of a techie section, I'm quite not quite used to the weight of the bike and just the size of it compared to the KLX, so that's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but we'll surely get it. Okay, wow. A little bit more difficult to ride in here after five days in a row. Lots of traction. Now these trails here definitely feel a little bit more like home with just uh, the, all the bedrock and shale and all that fun stuff. A little bit less of the flow trails and a little bit more techie gnar. I love it. Absolutely having a blast out here in this trail. It's awesome. 
Oh! <laughs> To go for it. Yeah, that was the line. Your line right up there. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, these are much better trails, much more like home. Good plate. That's oh, a jumper. Okay. These trails make you think about what you're doing. That's for sure. Oh boy, and down, down, down. Someone left their stinking old helmet there. Oh, these are cool little trails. These trails got the sauce in them. Okay, up we go again. Holy smokes. Yeah, these are a lot of fun. These are a lot more like uh, back at home there with all the bedrock and stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
There's some uh, tight V-notch stuff. Yeah, that's crazy, this thing. Just lugs and poles still. That 300 torque. <laughs> that is steep. That is one steep hill. This trail's got lots of good bedrock stuff and now it seems like we're into some good little Tuli twisties. You guys will have to let me know down below what you guys think uh, the sound of the bike. Definitely has some trial sound to it for sure. Can't see what you're riding over. Yeah, this trip has been so fun. Having the time off work's been fantastic. Haven't had a personal vacation in so long. So, it's a well-deserved little break from work to just go dirt biking every day. Yeah, for those of you who haven't seen all the episodes prior to this, we're out on a trip here, dirt biking across British Columbia, Canada. Came from the, the island there, Vancouver Island. We're just out exploring a bunch of different parks here. We were lucky enough to get our brand new uh, Beta Cross trainer that we're on. This thing's been working fantastic. Absolutely been loving the bike. Still completely bone stock, other than a skid plate and some hand guards. But we got a bunch of parts ordered up for it. Just waiting forever from Sierra Motorcycle to ship them out. Lots of focus, lots of weird random little stumps and stuff hanging out in the bush. We've seen quite a bit of wildlife out here too.
Yeah, uh, after five days in a row of dirt biking and drinking beer all day, my hands are cramping lots. Very tight grip. And we still got the hardest, most insane trails to go. So I better drink a couple more beer and be ready for it. Buddy Luke there has eaten dirt quite a few times already on this trip. He's getting a little bruised and battered, but he's a trooper. We're still over here just trying to get comfortable on the beta and the whole two stroke and, and we've got a few hours on the bike so we're getting used to her. That's for sure. One way to get used to a bike really quick, go ride it every single day in a bunch of different riding parks and it just forces you. Swamp bog. Looks like the trail goes through this old landing place. Yeah, there's dirt bike marks. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So much content. Oh, it's awesome. Best part about these trips, man. Just getting to film it and share with all you guys. Love it. Live for it. Love doing it. And like massive thanks to all you guys for watching to really, like I wouldn't be here without you guys for sure. Like. You guys are huge, huge drivers for me and what I'm doing, so thank y'all for watching the content. Y'all are letting me do this. Wow, that is some loose stuff in there. And then down through some sand. And down off in the grass. Down to some more bog. Oh boy. How boggy is this bog stuff gonna be? Oh boy. Okay, not bad. Definitely okay. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to uh, turn it to reserve fuel and uh, see if we're gonna make it back from wherever the heck we are. Yeah. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, okay. swampy bog in there you just don't know how freaking deep these are gonna be 
We had one the other day in the last trip video where Luke just nose stuck right in the sh Yeah, further note on the suspension, it's beautiful. That was a big old rock. It's absolutely beautiful, man. The way it soaks up the uh, all the loose rock compared to the KLX is unreal. For those of you guys that are maybe brand new, I had a, a BBR KLX 140 with a big bore kit. And Oh, sorry, and a big bore kit and a BBR suspension and exhaust and gummy tires and stuff, but just no replacement for the suspension. This is so freaking plush and nice and all this rough stuff. It's awesome. Up we go. So the goal is don't run out of fuel because we're on. Uh, I know everyone says reserves are fairly large on this bike, but we've been on reserve for a while now. And uh, yeah, we've got a ways to freaking go yet. So now it's turning into the adventure of, will we run out of gas up in this park? That is the million dollar question, which hopefully I know the answer is no. So I have to stay off the pipe to keep the fuel in the bike. It's gonna be a bunch of just whir, whir, whir. I definitely would like to get an oversized tank if they come out with one for this bike. Oh, this stuff's got some good flow. Down through the swamp we go. And luckily we came across this buddy who was a local who was willing to show us how to get back to the main road. That's the, uh, oh that's dirt bikers. That's the trail we were on before, <laughs> upper 12. Upper Buddy's name, but thanks for showing us the way back because uh, we wouldn't have made it without you there. Let's go. One of our locals here showing us the, the ways. This be the spot, yeah. So, this is Greenstone Mountain Road, yeah. Right, so it, it you guys cut off of it, yeah. To go up to Duffy. Oh, you got your trail forks, trail forks, and shit, yeah. So, this is Greenstone Mountain Road, okay. wicked, yes. Ha <laughs> ha! 
smoked him. Smoke Luke. I can't believe this thing just out pulled the XCW. What? That was cool. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to down below, click like, click subscribe for more. We've got a lot more awesome content coming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.